The Glass V8 is a V8 engine coupe produced by Hans Glass GmbH at Dingolfing. The car was first presented in September 1965 at the Frankfurt Motor Show, where it became nicknamed the Glaserati because of its Frua design, which shared many themes with contemporary Maseratis. The V8 shared its wheelbase with the company's existing Glass 1700 sedan, resulting in long overhangs at each end which some commentators felt compromised the aesthetics of the striking design and the car's road holding. The manufacturer took the decision in 1964 to build on the popularity of the existing Glass GT and produce a six-cylinder GT coupe. The intention was later to add a sports saloon to the range based on the new coupe. However, the company's finances were already precarious and in order to save on development costs it was decided instead to use the manufacturer's 1290 cubic centimeters four-cylinder engine as the basis for a new V8 engine, which is why the size of the new engine, at 2580 cubic centimeters, was precisely twice that of the existing engine. The engine had two overhead camshafts, one for each bank of cylinders, and these were driven using two cam belts. The contract for the car's design again went to Frua of Moncalieri, with the proviso that as far as possible they should avoid the requirement to design new components where existing parts might be obtained from other manufacturers. The resulting design, therefore, featured, among its many, borrowed, components headlights from a Cetra bus, window winder mechanisms from a Mercedes-Benz 230SL and the door locks of a Porsche 911. The bodywork was built by hand, with moving parts such as the doors and bonnets as well as the chrome trim stripe at top of the grille, being made to fit each individual body. All such parts thus carry the chassis number of each car and mean that they are not directly interchangeable between cars. The design presented at the Frankfurt Motor Show in September 1965 was seen as sensational, its similarity to the Maserati Quattro Porte, another Frua design, earning the new glass coupe the sobriquet, the Glaserati, following a familiar pattern with glass new model launches, it was nearly a year later, in July 1966, that new V8s started to emerge from the glass plant at Dingolfing. The 2580 cubic centimeters engine produced a claimed maximum power output of 110 kilowatt, 150 PS, which was sufficient to take the full four-seater up to a maximum speed of 198 kilometers per hour, 123 miles per hour, where conditions on the country's rapidly growing Autobahn highway network allowed. Thanks to the hydraulic struts developed by Bosch, this was the first production car in Germany to feature self-leveling suspension. Failure to match the targeted 200 km per hour, 126 miles per hour, maximum speed were attributed to problems involving the carburetors. By February 1966 Glass were running a prototype V8 with the engine bored out to 2,982 cubic centimeters, literally a doubled-up version of the 1489 cubic centimeters unit found in some versions of the company's Glass GT and a three-way carburetor. This version offered maximum power output of 118 kilowatt, 3.23 PS, and according to some sources now managed to top the 200 kilometers per hour, 126 miles per hour, maximum specified in the original brief for the car. In a 1967 test by Auto Motor und Sport, only 193.3 kilometers per hour, 120.1 miles per hour, was attained. During 1966 a 3.2-liter engine version providing maximum power output of 129 kilowatt, 175 PS, was also under development, but 1966 was the year when the company's precarious finances drove a crisis that resulted, in September 1966, in a takeover by BMW. The 3.2-liter Glass V8 never entered production. With the Glass model range now under the control of BMW, the Glass company's former rivals, production of the 2600 volts 8 glass was ended in August 1967, although the model continued to be listed until December, in September the 3000 volts 8 developed under glass management the previous year appeared on the market, virtually unchanged, except that it carried a BMW badge on the bonnet, hood and was branded as the BMW glass 3000 volts 8. Production of this model ended in May 1968, however, and exactly a year after its appearance it was delisted in September 1968. In contrast with their treatment of the smaller Glass GT, BMW resisted any temptation to give the BMW branded BMW Glass 3000 volts a to BMW style, twin kidney, grill. When the car first appeared at the 1965 Motor Show, the projected price was a sensationally low 18,000 German marks. 
By the time cars were available for sale, in 1966, the price was 19,400 German marks, which was still seen as a very competitive price for a low-volume specialist GT. In terms of volumes, sources differ. According to Werner Oswald, the company produced 277 of the 2,600 volts 8s with smaller engines and 389 of the more powerful 3,000 volts 8s.